Hey, what's up, folks? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, the last thing I need in my life is another next-generation front-end tool. I've got gulps and grunts and snowpacks and ES builds and webpacks and parcels, and I do not need another one of these. Well, maybe you do. Vite is really cool. It's by the folks that make Vue, but it is UI tooling agnostic, so you can use it for... Vue or Svelte or React or just plain vanilla JavaScript. It's Vita's what powers a Svelte kit if you've used that before with Svelte. So it's really cool and it's really fast. And rather than spending a lot of time talking about it, I thought we'd just scaffold up some sites that just have a map on them. And we'll do that for vanilla JavaScript and view and svelte so you can see how that works so let's go get it rolling npm init vite at latest and this is all you need to do to uh, scaffold up a project it's going to ask us what the name is we'll just make this vite vanilla for vanilla javascript we'll just say vanilla and we're not going to do typescript and that's good we'll go in there Go npm install. And then we are also going to add leaflets. So we can throw a map on this thing. npm install dash save leaflet. All right. Let's open this up in VS Code. And you'll see in their file structure for a vanilla project, it's very plain. It's just basically a folder and it has your uh, your main JavaScript, your main CSS, and your main page. Let's go ahead and fire that up. And you'll see in your package file, there's a, a couple of different scripts. There's dev for your development, and that's a live reload server that is extraordinarily fast. And a build and preview. And this does the modern thing where it relies on a modern browser during development that can handle uh, dynamic imports. So it doesn't have to recompile everything every time you change something. It makes it very fast. So npm run dev. And it's already all ready. We'll go localhost 3000. And that's our site. Not very exciting. Let's put a map on it. Let's go to index.html. And let's add a div to catch our map. Let's go to style so we can give our map some size. We'll just give it a with the 600 picks and a height of 600 picks. And let's center it up like that. And now let's go into main.js and we will import our leaflet styles. Port, uh, let's see, leaflet, this, leaflet leaflet.css we'll need to also import leaflet itself or l from leaflet now let's just make a map i have a little code snippet i use for leaflet that just gives it open street map tiles around mecklenburg county i'll hit save and there we go we got our map all ready to go super cool so we're done i mean you you'd roll this out for your organization right it looks fine I mean it's got hello vine on it but yeah that sounds friendly so to build it into a site to deploy you just go npm run build and it will build and in this disk folder you just put that wherever your site's going and happy days you're done Miller time no one should drink Miller but Miller time metaphorically speaking so let's do this in Vue. I haven't used Vue in a little while, so uh, don't don't at me if I screw some of this up. npm init v at latest. We'll make this v view. I'll give it view and not TypeScript. And good. We'll go into there. npm install again. It's got more stuff to install this time. And we'll also add um, leaflet. Let's 
Let's open up Visual Studio Code. And here we see the structure is a little different because this is using, you know, UI tooling. So it has a source folder. I don't want to do, no. So we've got our indexed HTML still, but a lot of the rest of the stuff is in our source folder. And we also have a public folder and that stuff just gets copied directly over into our distribution folder when we build. So, all right, we've got some components. We've got a hello world view. Let's just fire this up here. NPM run dev. See, now we got hello view with a counter. Thank you for not making another to-do list. So let's add a map to this. We're going to do this as a view component. So let's add a new component. Uh, add dot view. And let's just, we'll get the, I don't want care. Let's just copy this over here for now. Just have a base somewhere to start. So get rid of all this other stuff. And in our template, we just need a map. So we'll go, let's go map, pound map, uh, div pound map. So, and we'll, we'll give that some size again. Pound map with 600 pixels. Height 600 pixels. And let's center it back up. And now let's grab our uh, leaflet stuff. Now, view three uh, has some cool stuff to it. One of it is they have this script setup option. If you're used to view two, you it's usually structured where it's like this export default and then this really long JSON object with data and methods and all that stuff. The script setup is like some syntactic sugar, so you can avoid a lot of that kind of boilerplate. We'll just go ahead and use that. We'll go import and we'll get our, our leaflet style again. And let's get our leaflet. Import L from leaflet. Now for this, uh, because this is a reactive component, this code may run before the actual map div exists, which is a problem. So we're going to import an on mount event from view. On mount from view. And we're going to use that. Is it on mount? I think it's on mounted. Yeah, on mounted from view. That's why I didn't find it before. So now we have this hook for that lifecycle event. So we know we have a, a div tag to put our map in. So we can just go on mounted and this will be like a something we're not passing anything into. And then we can just put in that leaflet code and I think that will do it. Of course we have to actually add it. So let's go over to app.view and let's import that. Import map from components map.view. All right. And where we've got our hello world just below that, we'll put in our map. Hey! All right. Now we have an interactive, you know, UI, space age, whatever view component for our map and we're good. So we can just get out of here and then npm run build and that will make our dist folder and you can just put that wherever you need. Now one tip uh, I noticed is that if you look in your dist folder, probably should have mentioned this the other one too, this is no matter how you build it, look at your index, it's using root links to get to the assets it builds, which means it expects this to be like hottub.fun.com and not hottub.fun.com slash my mapping site, which is, I, I don't really like that. I prefer to use relative paths. If you go into your vitconfig.js, you can put in just a base 
and just give it a period slash so it knew, knows to use a, a, makes it a relative path. So now we run npm run build. If we look back over here, we'll see this is all relative path. So you can stick it wherever you want, it'll work. Hand tip. Fun fact, I don't think there's a way to do that in Svelkit, and I find it super irritating. But uh, you can do it in V. So that is view. Let's do this in Svelte. We'll go, we'll go npm init v at latest. We'll go v Svelte and make it Svelte and no TypeScript. Go back in there, npm install. And we will npm install save leaflet. So let's open up code here. And you'll see it's structured in terms of paths, very similar to your view. You have your source folder where your components stuff is. Let's go npm run dev. See over here we have hello world with a, look at that. Thank you for not making a to-do list. Thank you. Okay, let's add a map. Let's go over to source. And we just have our app spelt. Our main. And this has a lib folder with our counter in it. Let's just add another thing here. We'll go new map.spelt. And we'll just add a Our script and our temp. Uh, well, you don't need a template in Svelte. We'll just go uh, div. And there's a cool thing in later versions of Svelte where you can use this use and send it back to a function that'll happen when this div tag is added to the DOM. So it's kind of like on mount, but uh, a little cleaner. Use make map. And we'll have a function make map that's going to get past a node. And that is our actual div node. And here we can go uh, a little leaflet thing. Instead of map, we will call it, we'll just give it that node. Ah, we need to import our leaflet stuff, don't we? Import uh, leaflet dist leaflet.css and import l from leaflet. Okay, we're going to need to add that to our app. So we'll go import map from dash slash lib slash map.svelte. And we'll just put it down here after this, I guess. And, okay, we've got, oh, we got to give the map a size. So style, mm -mm. I guess we do need to give it an I. Nope, that's my wife asking where one of our cats is. Uh, let's see, ID equals map, and then style. Actually, you know, we don't even need to do that because there's only one div here and this is scoped. We'll just go div uh, width 600 picks, height 600 picks, and set it up. And there's our map. Spelt is all spelty happy. So let's get out of there. We'll go do that same thing with our path to our beat config. We'll just go base dot slash and npm run build. And there we have it. And our disk folder is all of our stuff to send off to our web server and a happy day. So that is Vite and scaffolding up a map in a project very quickly. You can see it's, it's, 
kind of stupid, simple to use, and it's, it's extraordinarily fast. And I redid GeoPortal, which was in this like custom snowpack rig, over to this, and it's very easy, and it's fast, and it's awesome. Anyway, that's Vite. Uh, I really like it. I used SvelteKit for a previous project, and there are some things about it. SvelteKit does so much. Has a built-in router, and by default, it's kind of doing server-side SSR. You have to like install an extra plugin to do a a static build, and and it, because it does all that stuff, it has to have some opinions, so doesn't it do crazy? And some of those opinions, I'm not too crazy about. Vite, I found, is just a really fast, simple way, especially to get a single-page application up and running with whatever tooling you're comfortable with. Well, I just want to show you that. I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy and happy, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.